Installing a shade isn't difficult and takes less than 30 minutes. In this video, we will show you how to install a wired roller shade. Before you begin, open the box and make sure that you have all the necessary parts, including the shade, mounting rail or brackets, and screws. You'll also need a cordless drill, 3 16 drill bit, number 2 Phillips bit, a level, a screwdriver, tape measure, and a pencil. Hold the shade up to the window to make sure it is the correct size. Next, make sure that the ends of the shade tube are properly inserted into the end brackets. First, we will show how to install a roller shade without fascia using mounting brackets. Hold the shade up to the mounting surface and use a pencil to mark each end of the shade. Then, mark the location of each bracket approximately 5 to 7 inches from each end of the shade. Ensure that the brackets will not interfere with the power supply. You can mount brackets on the window frame, inside the window frame, or on the wall. Mount the brackets using the provided screws. Ensure that the brackets are level and that the shade is centered. Once the brackets are in place, attach the shade by hooking the lip of the shade bar on the brackets and pressing the bottom of the bar into the brackets until it locks into each bracket with an audible click. If your shade has fascia, you'll need to install it using a mounting rail. First, hold the mounting rail up to the window, ensuring that it's level and centered. If the shade is an inside mount, make sure that there's sufficient clearance between each end of the mounting rail and the window frame. Shades with fascia require a one quarter inch of clearance. Decide where to place your mounting screws. They'll need to be approximately three to five inches from each end of the mounting rail. You can place the screws through the top or the back of the mounting rail. The rail features grooves that indicate recommended placement and will help to stabilize the point of your drill bit. Use a pencil to mark screw locations. Please note, Shades wider than 48 inches will need two additional screws, equally spaced across the mounting rail. Using the pencil marks as a guide, pre-drill holes for the screws on the mounting rail. Install the mounting rail using the provided screws. If you're installing the shade above the trim, place the included spacers behind the mounting screws to provide additional clearance as the shade lowers. Next, remove the bracket lock labels on either side of the mounting rail and position each at least one and a half inches towards the center of the mounting rail. Now you'll need to remove the fascia which is attached to the shade for shipping. Lay the shade on a clean, level surface and lift the fascia from the bottom, swinging it up and away from the shade. Remove all of the foam inserts from the inside of the fascia and set it aside. Position the support brackets by pushing them all the way to each end of the shade. Shades over 53 inches wide will include up to three additional center fascia supports. Position any necessary center supports evenly across the shade, adjusting their position if necessary to avoid mounting rail screws. Attach the shade by resting the bottom rear part of each support bracket, bottom first, on the lower shelf of the mounting rail. Then push the top of the shade into the mounting rail, locking all support brackets into the mounting rail. You'll hear a click. Once the shade is attached, slide the left and right bracket locks to each end of the mounting rail until they click lightly, securing the shade support bracket to the mounting rail. You can now attach the fascia to the mounted shade. Insert the tongue on the inside of the fascia into the upper slots of the support brackets. Press firmly until the fascia clicks into the support bracket. Next, attach the power supply, which is purchased in addition to the shade. Make sure that the shade's power wire is routed clear of the shade and secured in a position where it won't interfere with shade movement. Connect the individual power supply to the power wire and plug the power supply into a compatible electrical outlet. Outlets may be located above or below the window and can be hidden by a window treatment. The shade button LED will flash green-red once power is connected. That's it for installation. Now you're ready to program your Pico remote control or set up your smart bridge using the Lutron app.